Hey ya, I'm Ada. Welcome back to another speed paint. Today we're going to be doing some Pride Month illustrations, and we're going to be doing them inspired by the acronym. So for this one, we're going to be doing lesbian. For all of these, they're going to be inspired by the actual flags, so that we have some sort of correlation to them. With all of them, I'll be doing a flat character style. This one is just more expressive and doesn't have to follow any sort of rules. Throughout these illustrations, I'll try and make sure all of them are inspired by the actual flags while also putting my own take. As you see here, I'm just trying to make sure I divide all the parts so it can be easier to add color. So right now I'm doing the skin and then I'll be adding the dress, the shoes, hair, and all the rest of the features. I sketched this out just before, as you can see, and just wanted to make sure I had some sort of idea before I go in. I'm using Illustrator, so it's really hard to do sketches on here, so doing it beforehand is very helpful. In Illustrator, I wanted to make sure these were clean, and also then the style could have its justice. Usually, this style is done using Illustrator. Right now I'm just trying to make sure all the points are in their perfect place and just making sure everything is going how I wanted in the actual sketch. In here, Illustrator is a little confusing. It's a learning curve. But after getting used to it, you'll understand the mechanics of it. These colors aren't final, but just making sure I can divide and make sure all of the items are where they need to be. The hair was a little bit difficult. As you can see, I'm adding bangs. Those are on a separate layer. And I thought I would may have to redo them in the end. Making the flag as well. I wanted to also include the actual flag so you can see the characters holding it and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't just in her color scheme. I also wanted to include her other shoe but it was not going to be visible, so I just decided against it. I also wanted to make sure it was very obvious that she was sitting, so I fixed her arm, making sure it was level to her actual leg instead of just some weird space and time. Blocking this out, I copied the flag and just adding my own spin and making sure everything is how I want it. So I just copy and paste all the colors and make sure it's how I like it. At first I was going to do some sort of like complex pattern, but in the end I decided on doing some sort of simple pattern. Uh, this one is called Crosses in Illustrator, but honestly it looks like just little tiny stars. I realized after resizing the stars they were a little too dark so I decided against it 
and just continued with the actual size that they were preset to. This pattern is from Illustrator. I didn't create it, but there are a lot of nice patterns that Illustrator and Adobe include so that you don't have to do a lot of the work. I also am resizing the flag so it can actually go into where I was going to put it and just making sure that all the colors are in there. Now I'm adding the features. I usually do a sort of classic swoop to my eyes, I don't usually do dots, but with this illustration I thought it was worth a try. Now I'm trying to add a rounded sort of nose. With my style, I want to experiment with different shapes of features like noses, faces, that sort of thing. So with the nose, I think it fits pretty good with the style. With the mouth, I try to add more detail to it. I add a background color with the mouth and then actual tongue color. I was going to add teeth, but later on it didn't work out. It looked a little weird. With the drop shadow underneath the head, I wanted to make sure it was the correct color and that it actually flowed well. With this part of the style, I decided against being reliant on line art, so I decided just to make sure I had simple shapes that fit together. I then added some cheek blush to add some cuteness to the style. I was going to add a thumb, but the shape was a little weird, so I just tried to add some sort of line to indicate that there was a thumb. I tried adding multiple fingers, that did not look good, so I just decided to add some, and you can just think that there's more. holding the flag, I didn't really know how I was going to make it obvious, so I just covered up and tried to do some stylistic fingers. Because the thumb was a little too small uh, when I designed it, I decided to bump it up a little so you can actually see there's a thumb instead of a blob for our hand. reshaping. I was pretty happy with how it went. I just wanted to make sure the fingers were how I wanted them to be. I decided copying and pasting would be better so there's actually some uniformness. After drawing the fingers, I decided to go in and redo that thumb, and then going into details on the rest of the piece. I wanted to add some sort of shoelace. Didn't work, so I just tried to do the bow on the shoe and thought that was fine. With the dress, I wanted to add some more dimension, so I added some shadow to the back as if there is a three-dimensional element. dress, I decided a gradient with the purples would have been better as well. So I decided
side with purples. I would add some gold in it. I decided then on making some sort of flower. I was gonna just do a sort of like traditional flower, but then thought of doing something stylistic. just wanted to make sure everything was okay. I noticed I didn't add a bit of the shoe for the bottom. And then I'm just trying to experiment with the flowers. I decided on adding more detail and adding more bumps or petals on the actual top to make it more flower-like. That made it so much better, and I was pretty happy with it. Now I just copy and pasted what I had, and added some shadow, so it can have more dimension. After seeing what I did, I was pretty happy with it, and wanted to add some striped details to the actual flower. This would just mean that there's more detail, and just making it more I was gonna make some sort of like curve in the stem, but then thought against it. Just thinking of some sort of patch of flowers growing right by the character. I added a scrunchie as well just to add some more decoration. I wanted just more details and thought why not do some earrings? I was gonna do some dangly ones with some sort of shape or like triangle but thought against it. I didn't think it would work and so I just decided on something curved. So I did some drop earrings and thought that looked so much better. After adding that, then I decided I think I should do some sort of letter just so I can connect all these illustrations together. So I did L, and instead of just adding it somewhere in, I decided on making the character sitting on it. That made it so much more interesting, and I decided to add a gradient with all the flat colors in mind. I thought that worked very well, and decided on adding some sort of shadow as if the character is casting some sort of light. And here's the final speed paint. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. With pride, it's such an important part of my own identity and just making sure everyone feels comfortable with themselves. I hope you all have a nice pride and good day and bye.